Alright, in this video, I'm just going to make a random test of our Frankfurt Arsenal wet tumbler, which is this giant barrel. You can't see the stainless steel pins in there. But I've never really gotten nasty stuff until a friend of mine goes, Hey, you reload. Look what I got. And he's got all this brass that he got out of a pile in the yard or something, and it's caked in dirt. It had steel cased ammo in there, that's where all the rust is from. And I just ran a magnet across this pile of crap until I got some stuff there. I believe it's mostly 380 and 9 millimeter brass in there. But as you can see, this stuff is in bad shape. So we're going to test out this uh, tumbler and see what this stuff looks like. Maybe I'll pour it out so you can get a better look at it. Okay, there we go. It's a whole mixture of stuff, and yeah, there's twigs, branches, dirt, everything. You can see on the inside of the cases, all covered in crud and stuff. So we're going to see what this will do. This is an extreme. We're going to put this in the barrel. I'm going to use a teaspoon of Dawn dishwashing detergent and a teaspoon of that Lemmy Shine. And I'm going to run this on the tumbler for three hours, and then we'll see what we got. Just as an extreme test, just out of curiosity. We're going to see what we end up with and how good this cleaner really is. Okay, after three hours of tumbling, <coughs> and getting rid of that filthy water and giving it a rinse, let's look at what we got. Actually, the majority of it come out nice. Um, there may be a few of them that still have stains and spots on them, but inside and out, these things were packed with dirt and mud. Okay. And rust, because they were with steel cartridges. You know, granted, some of them still, like this one, have some blotches and stuff on it but nothing that it can't be used you know but the majority of it, it is all 9 millimeter and 380 ammo the majority of it is clean and usable you know some of them might be a little bent like that might have to shake them out but for something that come out like a pile of dog crap and come out looking like this. Yeah. You know, there's some staining that ain't gonna go away, but still, compared to what this stuff looked like and what we have now, you know, now I got something I could use some of this for salvageable. You know, you got some nickel. There's some nickel cases in there too. But yeah, this uh, Frankfurt Arsenal, the wet tumble, there's, there's one. You know, you'll still see staining on it. But that is not going to affect it. You can reload this. The Frankfurt Arsenal wet tumbler, I believe, is well worth the money. I'd never get these results using a vibrating. Uh, cleaner with corn cob or anything. I mean, unless I turned it on and left it there for a week. You know, three hours. And I'm done. Of course, it's got the only drawback is I gotta let this stuff dry for a few days. There's one there that's pretty, pretty gnarly. But really, compared to what it was, you know, this is pretty cool. Now I got some salvageable brass.